Justin Bieber and Hailey Baldwin, well now Hailey Bieber as you know, recently tied the knot again with the traditional ceremony in South Carolina. The newlyweds already made their marriage official last year in a Manhattan courthouse, but this time it was a bigger celebration with friends and family members, 154 guests to be exact. The couple seems like a match made in heaven and have been happily cohabitating with one another for quite some time now. I guess that Justin and Haley are really enjoying living together to say the least, along with their cute pets, their pup Oscar, and their new exotic kittens Sushi and Tuna. I've seen some comments requesting a house tour for the couple, so what better time than now considering Justin also recently took to Instagram, posting pics of their Beverly Hills mansion. Justin is 25 at the time of this recording and Haley is 22. Although the couple is young, they're both super successful and it looks like they've made more than one real estate investment together so far. Pre Haley, Justin had a few different properties, including a mansion in Calabasas that's now owned by none other than Khloe Kardashian. Back then, Justin still hadn't settled down and was actually charged for vandalizing the neighbor's property. Pretty sure the incident involved eggs. Now as a married man, it seems Justin has been tamed. We know that the couple has a mansion in Beverly Hills and prior to this rented another home for the modest price of 100 k per month. That's not all though. We know the Beebs is a proud Canadian, so of course the two purchased a beautiful house in Ontario, close to Justin's hometown of Stratford too. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to look at where Justin and Hailey Bieber call home, including their Beverly Hills spot and their mansion in Canada. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Katy Perry and the members of the Kardashian-Jenner family, and we'll have links to some at the end of this. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. For starters, let's see the crazy expensive rental Justin and Haley lived in before their current Beverly Hills home. The couple was renting a mansion on Toluca Lake for almost 100 grand per month, which went on the market afterwards for 8.5 million. This Spanish style home was 6,500 square feet and has five beds, seven baths, and a ton of other features. There was a chef's kitchen, a professional recording studio, a gym, and a six car garage. To go along with the perfect lake views, Justin and Haley also had a six 600 square foot covered patio, pool, and private dock. In the master suite, there was a separate seating area, large ensuite bathroom, and walk in closet. The bedrooms also had private balconies with views of Toluca Lake. Justin and Haley apparently paid the amount they did for rent because they were doing it month to month, so they could move whenever they wanted. The two enjoyed this house for a while, up until they found their Beverly Hills mansion that they now call home. Earlier this year, Justin and Haley decided to put down some roots in LA when they bought a 1930s Monterey Colonial house in Beverly Hills. The house came with a price tag of $8.5 million and was completely renovated by the previous owner. This mansion is 6,100. 32 square feet and has five beds and seven bathrooms. Justin took to Instagram recently and decided to show off him and Haley's gorgeous mansion. The star posted a bunch of photos of the home, writing in the captions about selling the place and asking if anyone wants to buy it. Who knows if Justin was serious, but if he was, he also said he'd include the furniture. We can see from the pics that Justin shared that him and Haley decorated the house and gave it their own vibes. There's a snowboard line staircase and plenty of unique art. The cellar has wallpaper that was inspired by the Beverly Hills Hotel and a blue neon sign that reads The Tropics. There's also a bar, foosball table, wine cellar, and wooden swing here. In the game room, we can see another swing and there's also a giant photo of Haley and Justin on the wall. How romantic. Of course, the home has a bunch of other rooms and features that Justin didn't fully show off on his Instagram tour. The couple has a gorgeous master suite with a fireplace and cozy seating areas, and their spacious bathroom has a walk-in marble shower. The mansion also has a movie theater where the couple seems to enjoy date night and a wood paneled library. Outside, there are more impressive features, including a brand new infinity pool, cabana, outdoor fireplace, and of course, a garage to store their fancy cars. For some reason, I think that Justin was kidding when he said he wanted to sell the place. I mean, they only bought it earlier this year, so I'm sure only now is the mansion really starting to feel like home for the couple. Do you guys think he's serious? Let me know in the comments. Since Justin is Canadian from a small town in Ontario called Stratford, it makes sense that a home in Beverly Hills wasn't quite enough for him and Haley. Even before the newlyweds bought their LA home, they already had purchased a mansion in Canada. 
probably so Justin could have a spot close to his family too. Justin's hometown of Stratford is less than an hour drive from him in Haley's Mansion, which is located on a private lake called Pooslinch Lake in Wellington County, Ontario. Locals would call the county one of the sleepier areas of Ontario, definitely not like Toronto, which would make it the perfect home for the Biebers to escape celebrity life. According to records, the house was on the market for a while and when Justin decided to purchase, he paid around $5 million. The mansion sits on over 100 acres of property and the house itself is 9,000 square feet. There are 4 beds, 6 baths and a 3 car garage. Although Justin and Haley have yet to share personal photos of the home, you can tell from the listing pics that this place is definitely impressive. The exposed beams and wood accents give it a bit of a cozy Canadian feel, as much as possible considering how huge the place is. The 4 bedrooms are spread over 2 stories and the master bedroom sits on ground level, with super high ceilings and a ton of windows. Of course, it also has its own fancy bathroom and walk-in closet. Some other features of Justin and Haley's mansion include a two-level wine cellar, private gym, games room, and a movie theater. Of course, there are also a few fireplaces and heated flooring because we know those are necessary for the cold Canadian winters. And just to clear it up, it isn't cold year-round. We have a hot summer, I swear. Winter just happens to last like half the year. Moving outside, this is one of the celeb mansions that doesn't have a pool, but considering it offers private access to the lake, I don't see why Justin and Haley would need one. And they have a gorgeous pool at their Beverly Hills mansion anyway. Of course, with the lakefront property, there's also a full boathouse. If the couple decides they want some horses, not to worry. This house has an equestrian training facility on the property, which is a space built to house and train them. It's complete with stables and a private racetrack. Haley and Justin's mega mansion is also just an hour away from the house Justin bought for his dad back in 2013 near Stratford. Stratford, so visits would definitely be convenient. Their house is super private and secluded, but they only need to drive 20 minutes to the closest Tim Hortons, and I'm sure Justin and Haley could get someone else to do a coffee run for them. So we don't know if Justin was serious about selling him and Haley's Beverly Hills love nest when he posted on Instagram, but whatever the case, it allowed us to catch a glimpse into the couple's gorgeous home. The $8.5 million Beverly Hills mansion that Haley and Justin purchased earlier this year is nothing short of impressive, and it looks like they have spent enough time living in it now to make it their own. Justin and Haley clearly don't spend as much time in Canada, which might be the reason that they haven't shown it off much, or maybe I just didn't catch it. Either way, according to the sources, this lakefront mansion is really gorgeous as well. I'd say the two aren't doing so bad for a young couple that just got married. I'm sure their real estate portfolio will just keep growing along with their relationship and their bank accounts. Okay guys, now it's time for me to read some of your comments from previous videos. This one was from our Khloe Kardashian house tour. Glenda Bo Johnson said, Love Khloe's home the most. Me too, Glenda. I think for me it's between hers and Kris Jenner's original family home. On our Kris Jenner house tour, Kira Flynn said, I prefer the house in Palm Springs and the original house. Same here, Kira. I love the original one, and I think most people seem to like those two houses of Kris's the best. And finally, on our Kim K house tour, the family show of 40 said, Looks plain like no one lives there. LOL. Right? That's what I meant when I threw shade at their home in the video. It's a beautiful property, it just totally looks like no one lives there. Agreed. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Justin and Haley Bieber's mansions. As far as I know, the only real estate the newlyweds own at this moment is their Beverly Hills home and the mansion in the Great White North. But seeing as they're both multi-million dollar spots, it's probably enough for now. Let me know what you guys think about Justin and Haley's homes or if there's anything that I missed. Maybe they have a third one which I have no clue about. Which one of Justin and Haley's homes do you like best? I love them both, but the mansion in Canada is probably a little bit too secluded for everyday living. Perfect for a cottage though, as us Canadians would say. Let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!